It's for very important for all of us to be saved. So as individuals seated wherever you are, we do not just do church. The elementary stages, are you born again? Are you saved? Because if you do not have that, you are missing the gift of God. And this year I'm calling and I'm making an announcement that somebody must be born again. Somebody must be saved. We don't get a child for you be in the church. Yes, we want you to be our member. But the ultimate here, the premier here, is for one to be born again. One to be saved. One to enter the kingdom of heaven. Can I have a man from somebody? So today, if you are not saved, you don't know the person of Jesus. This is your time for you to be born again. Jesus says something to Nicodemus in John chapter 3. He said, I am surprised you are the ruler of the Pharisees, but you don't know the stuff I'm saying. Hey, Nicodemus, you are going to be born again. Now he was pushing salvation to him. He says, if you are not born again, you will not see the kingdom. So the being born again, you see the kingdom. And when you are born of water in the spirit, you enter the kingdom. Romans chapter 10. I call it the book of faith. From verse number 9. The Bible says we are saved by faith. And the Bible says we got to confess our sins. And here comes faith. Verse number 17. It comes by hearing and by hearing of the word of God. So in salvation, we are preaching the gospel that is of truth. We release it to you. Even though you might be deceived, you might be deceived, but when the truth is coming, we'll reveal something to you. Jesus Christ, our founder, Jesus Christ, our Lord, Jesus Christ, who is the God, he must be formed inside of you. If you are, if you are a child of God, Jesus must be inside of you. John 1 verse number 12, he says, to all of them that have received him, he gave them the power to become sons of God. So we are sons of God because we received Christ. We are not sons of God because we are in a church. We are not sons of God because we serve prophet Mangari. So when you are hanging around us, we will always tell you this. Brother, are you born again? Are you saved? Come on. David said, create in me a pure heart because in salvation, we get the word character. Hippomonia is very powerful. So when you have character, you understand it's eminent and imperative for me to receive the person of Christ. Because when you receive Christ, it's a license to enter into the kingdom of God. And here I come with a great announcement. This year is not enough for you to be in a church without receiving Christ. This year is not enough enough to serve the prophet without a Christ. You must have the person of Christ. It's called the gift of salvation. Give your neighbor a high five and say, I feel it is coming. So when Jesus is inside of you, your life begins to change. How you talk, how you behave, the people working with you, they must look like you because Christ is inside of you. Colossians says the following, Christ and me, the hope of glory. So I no longer live it. Galatians chapter 2. But Christ liveth in me. The flesh is dead. But the spirit is rising up. And the Bible says, now as you are saved, be a son of God. You are led by the spirit. And Romans 8 14 says, as many as are led by the spirit, these are sons of God. We do not do what men likes. We do sometimes what the Spirit is saying. That is why, come on, Pastor Wurile, I'm not meant to be understood. 
I'm not meant to be understood. The time when you are being understood, it means you are not doing the things right. Jesus is saying to Nicodemus, you can't understand the man of the spirit. Where he's coming from and where he goes, he's just like a whirlwind. First Corinthians chapter 2, 17, it says, have the mind of Christ. Because a non-Christian, a natural man, will not adhere to the things of the spirit. Because they are spiritually descent. But a spiritual man, he can understand and judge all things. Because the spirit of God is inside of them. Come on, prophet, what I say? When I'm born again, God has given me the power. We call it the consciousness. It's inside of me. It becomes the voice of the Holy Spirit. It helps me to discern what is bad and what is good, what is evil and what is righteous. So the gift inside of me that is a conscious will help me to discern what is this thing. So the conscious will tell me, you are born again, Mangadi. You cannot preach at the same time you are drinking alcohol. You cannot preach prophet at the same time you are smoking. So the reason why we've got youth in the church who are praisers and tomorrow you see them in born race in Surua. The problem is that their conscience is dead. And what made the, what made the conscience to be to, to sleep? We are saying today we are coming with a resuscitation message. I'm calling on the youth. You let your conscience rise. Let the gift of God begin to rise. That you will feel the atmosphere is not conducive anymore. When you sit among drunkards, when you sit among fornicators, you will feel uncomfortable because salvation is not permitting you to sit right there. Somebody say yes. You cannot say prophet. I'm just a friend to a drunkard man. I just respect him. The moment you are saying that, it simply says you are interested in the same thing. But today I say, when you are a child of God, you better stand fast. You better choose who you want to be. Be a man of God. We can sit here and live a double standard life. Be in God. Be in the world. Love the gospel music and at the same time secular music is an error that needs to be corrected. Here I come with the gospel of Jesus. Rise up gift of God. This is our time. We are taking over. We can't combine the two. We have decided to become sons of God. To become a child of God. Bye bye to the things of the world. Yes, they look okay. They look enticing. But I want to be a child of God. Can I preach two minutes in here? This is going to be your season. A well-balanced man. A man not living a bad double standard life. A man who will say on Monday I will be in a prayer meeting. I will sit upon the word of God every day. Day and night I will meditate on thy way because the word of God is powerful more than any double edged sword. It divides the marrow from the bones. The word of God it makes us free because I sit on it. Somebody say yes. Give the Lord a praise. Come on, somebody. Come on, my God. When we sit on this gift, the gift of salvation, we are not only being enticed by miracles and prophecies. Yes, we need prophecy. Yes, we need healing grace. But the ultimate is to receive Jesus in our life. Because if you do not receive Jesus in your life and miracle happens to you, testimonies are coming to your life. But at the end of it all, you will lose your license to heaven. I can preach time 
will upset down. But if I live a double standard life, it's fantasy of fantasy. It's vanity of vanities. What I'm doing is a loss. Because at the end of the day, when the book of Revelation says, the book was there, and no one was worthy to open the scroll, but the only son of David, the root of David, the offspring of Israel, Alpha and Omega, was worthy to open the scroll. And when he found inside, he saw the young and the old seated before the throne of God. And the book was open. And when your name was not found in the book, you were thrown to hell. Can I hear somebody say amen? Jesus said in John chapter, Luke chapter 10, do not rejoice to cast the demon out in my name, but rather celebrate that your name is written in the book of life. We can sing here. People being excited. The question here is Are you born again, brother? Are you born again, my sister? Are you alive? If anything haphazardly will happen to you right now, will you enter heaven? Will you enter heaven? Yes, you're committed to church. You never miss any savings. But here comes a question. You're coming to church. Are you saved? Are you a child of God? This year I call on everybody. Because it's come on, it's possible to recover all things. But if you're backslidden, you also recover yourself. You've got to wrestle with yourself. I need Jesus in my life can I hear somebody standing up and saying Jesus enter my life St. Peter says in him I have my being in him I walk in him I live it. 2 Corinthians 5.17 if any man be in Christ he's a new creature the old passed on and the new have come God wants to make you an ambassador only when you are saved when the person of Jesus is inside of you come on prophet come on prophet you can walk in stiletto look up all come on complexion over you so small with your long hair the question is are you born again do not live an ignorant life. Question yourself every day before you go to your bed. Ask yourself this question. Am I born again as a pastor? Am I born again as a leader? Am I born again? Can I hear some people say amen?